Hey there everyone, I'm Staff Sergeant Tracy Keller here with your look around the Air Force. An expeditionary U-2 serving in the U.S. Air Force's Central Command has reached a historical milestone, completing 30,000 hours of flight time while fighting ISIS in Southwest Asia. The U-2's daily sorties have directly impacted the fight against ISIS by gathering information used to disrupt revenue streams and create organizational dysfunction. So far, coalition-backed Iraqi forces have liberated more than 50% of their territory from ISIS. This is the second U-2 to reach this milestone, but this achievement was the first while serving Air Force CENTCOM in an expeditionary environment. The first was last year when a U-2 with a 5th Reconnaissance Squadron out of Osan Air Base, Republic of Korea hit the 30,000 flight hour mark. Move, shoot and communicate are three of the military's most basic tasks. And without reliable and secure communication, successfully completing the other two tasks are virtually impossible. In the February edition of Airman Magazine, you can see how members of the Joint Communications Support Element provide premier communications to forces, no matter if they're on the ground, at sea, or in the air. You can watch the full video and read more on just how these tactical communicators keep the total force connected at airman.dodlive.mil. Air Force officials are looking for nominations for the 2017 USO Service Member of the Year Award. The award recognizes specific acts of heroism by E-5s and below from each service branch. Each MAGCOM can submit only one nomination, and nominations are due to the Air Force Personnel Center by April 4th. You can find out more info on this and other personnel programs on MyPERS. And that's your look around the Air Force.